don't get a lot. Oh boy, eh? they won't buga me small. They say, man, I'll give them bribe. I say, nothing. Okay, now, eh, we'll go block later. You remember that contract where we'll be that time now? Uh -huh. They don't pay! Eh, eh. <laughs> but first, uh -huh. you see the man with the whole things. We go first call Kete, take the money slap him. Ah, uh, beg a beg, you see eh? You know, say, I get Amwa Levy, why they pay for club? Eh, where me and boys, they shout beer in our house, I'm going to pay that one. You remember, say, me and Tesha go buy you moto, eh? I go buy him now. Oh, Gene. They pay you money now. Why would they beg? Caretaker, why would they beg landlord, old man, and they, they agree to give, give us time more. Money can't come now, you won't divert him. You said now corruption. Uh-uh, corruption, not in my house and not in my country. Sure? Sure. Corruption, not in my country. COVID-19 kills, but corruption kills even more. Take responsibility. Nigeria is a very rich country with abundant human and material resources. Unfortunately, these resources are being stolen and moved outside the country to benefit a few unscrupulous individuals who launder and return the money as legitimate resources. In addition to preventing corruption and enforcing sanctions against corrupt persons, tracking and stopping the movement of illicit funds is a major challenge for anti-corruption agencies. Welcome to Corruption Must Go, ICPC's weekly television program. I'm your host, Hawa Garba. Today on the program, we shall be looking at the just concluded two-day virtual conference on combating corruption and illicit financial flows, conveyed by ICPC as one of the activities to mark its 20 years of existence. Stay with us as we bring you details shortly. to mark its 20th anniversary, ICPC, in collaboration with the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, organized a two-day African regional webinar with the theme, Combating Corruption and Illicit Financial Flows, New Measures and Strategies. Welcoming the participants, ICPC Chairman, Professor Bolaji Owansoe, said, Within its threefold mandate, the Commission has in the past 20 years recorded a number of achievements from 44 petitions in year 2000 to almost 2000 petitions in 2019. It has received cumulatively 19,381 petitions in 20 years, successfully investigated about 5,000 of those petitions and prosecuted almost 1,000 and secured about 20% of convictions in the cases over the years, including successfully defending up to the Supreme Court a challenge to the constitutionality of the Enabling Act. Within the same period, we have conducted 47 system studies, review on public sector MDAs, and five CRAs in different key sectors of the economy, including transport, education, health, and e-government system sectors. The fourth and the current board of the commission, as within one year of inauguration, followed the footsteps of its predecessors by improving on the mandate of the commission. In operational matters, it has focused on activities that strengthen government's desire to eradicate corruption in the revenue and expenditure sides of governance, and take development closer to the people by diminishing poverty and implementing sustainable development goals and ensuring value for money in the implementation of publicly funded projects and escalating asset recovery and asset return and reducing retail corruption as the everyday experience of ordinary people. In his 
opening remarks, the nation's vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo, who was the special guest of Anna, stated that corruption remains a scourge to Nigeria's development aspirations and has become, for the developing world, an existential issue requiring an appropriate response. Massive public resources and assets have been directly stolen, diverted, deliberately misapplied to gratify corrupt tendencies, stashed away in foreign jurisdictions, and made susceptible to pilferage by the inequitable and unjust international economic system that continues to undermine the social and economic development aspirations of poorer countries, especially those from Africa. Without effectively combating corruption and illicit financial flows and promoting international cooperation for asset recovery and asset return, <clears throat> Africa cannot achieve the sustainable development goals. Goal 16 of the SDG is devoted to corruption and specifically target 16 for commits uh, to reducing illicit financial flows and arms flows and strengthening the recovery and return of stolen assets and combating all forms of organized crime. Both the UN General Assembly and the African Union have committed to measures to fight corruption and stem illicit financial flows. UNCAC and the African Union Convention on Preventing and Combating Corruption have remained the touchstones of the fight against corruption and illicit financial flows. Other initiatives include the Addis Ababa Action Agenda and the AU Assembly Special Declaration on Illicit Financial Flows. More recently, the UN General Assembly Resolution 74-206 of the 19th December 2019 commits to promotion of international cooperation to combat illicit financial flows and strengthen good practices on asset return to foster uh, sustainable development. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, who expressed his delight with the several initiatives the Commission has put in place to combat corruption in his message, likened the fight against corruption to that of COVID-19 and charged everyone to take personal responsibility. This webinar platform offers another opportunity for participants to reflect and recommend new measures and strategies that Nigeria and other African countries can use to combat corruption and the STEM, and STEM IFFs from the continent. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me close my goodwill message with another parallel in the fight against COVID-19 and fight against corruption. This is personal responsibility. We all need to take responsibility for the fight against corruption as we have taken responsibility against infection of COVID-19. COVID-19 kills, but corruption kills even more. ICPC alone cannot fight corruption. We all must be involved. Failure to take responsibility is dangerous to self and the society as a whole. CPC and NTA say you can help Nigeria to flatten the curve on COVID-19, just as you can help us flatten the curve on corruption. Follow transparency, accountability and integrity, just as you follow health guidelines. Stay home with integrity and maintain your distance from corruption just as you stay away from COVID-19 by maintaining social distance. Report every act of corruption to ICPC just as you report COVID-19 to NCDC. Stay away from corruption, stay safe from COVID-19. Call ICPC toll free number 
This message is brought to you by ICPC and NTA. In his Goodwin message, the Deputy Chairman African Union Commission, Thomas Kwesi Kwate, commended Nigerians and Nigerian government for their tireless efforts towards improving financial flows and ethics, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa as a whole. This is evident in the adoption of the Common African Position on Asset Recovery, commonly known as CAPA, which we must acknowledge has been largely due to the dedication of excellence the President and the tenacity of the Nigerian government up to and during the 33rd ordinary session of our Assembly of Heads of State and Government of the African Union held in February 2020 in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Your Excellencies, as we work to stem IFS from the continent, the CAPA will be extremely useful in helping African countries to identify, to repatriate, and to effectively manage the illicitly acquired assets in a manner that respects our sovereignty. On his part, the United Nations resident coordinator, Mr. Edward Callan, called for a people-centered approach in the fight against corruption in Nigeria to make the efforts more impactful. Going forward, I would like to propose to you today an adjustment to our approach. It is our belief that we need an approach that puts citizens at the center of the fight against corruption. It is only when citizens see tangible progress directly impacting their lives positively that we can expect them to support the fight, to refuse to take part in corruption practices, and to report corruption incidents whenever they become aware of them. In short, we need to do better in demonstrating the actual benefits of the fight against corruption. Corruption must go continues after this break. Stay with us. Suddenly, the world stopped. COVID-19 does not discriminate. Like corruption, everyone. Regardless of social status, economic class, color, creed, religion, pays. Corruption is deadly to development. COVID-19 is deadly to human lives. Corrupt persons exploit times of emergency response to act corruptly. Do not be tempted. Don't enrich yourself with COVID-19 relief funds. ICPC is watching. If we can end COVID-19 by sacrificing social contacts, we can eradicate corruption. COVID-19 can be prevented. Also, corruption can be prevented. ICPC salutes all the people on the front lines of COVID-19 fight. We salute you too. For saying no to corruption. 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 I am a Nigerian, a highly cultured race. My culture abhors corruption, and with my integrity, a new Nigeria is possible. I say no to corruption today to build a future for my children. Join me and imbibe the culture of integrity to build a Nigeria of our dreams. Welcome back. As earlier stated, the workshop was a two-day virtual event and had about 300 participants in attendance. The second day had six panels with different paper presentations from resource persons in Nigeria and the diaspora, including Yemi Dikweolu, Special Assistant to the Vice President of Nigeria on Economic Matters, who said Tambo Mbeki panel was set up to stop the bleeding of African resources. The report of the panel identified commercial, criminal, and corrupt forms of illicit financial flows and averred that up to 65% of illicit financial flows take place through the commercial mode, especially tax evasion, aggressive tax planning, and 
trade misinvoicing. Yet, taxation is a time-honored way for governments to raise revenue. In addition to paying for government delivery of services, taxes are a vital instrument for promoting equity and economic growth. A good tax system is also important because it enables good governance by ensuring that taxpayers pay attention to the workings of government and governments in turn strive to justify the use of taxpayer resources. Another speaker, Alvin Masioma, Executive Director, Tax Justice Network Africa, advised on the need for Africa to put in place mechanism for tracing where African resources are going. I think this, this has informed um, both at national and at the regional level what, uh, it, what the, the effort of tackling IFAP should be about, that we need to um, lay out the mechanism of tracing where African resources are going, where, where they are going, um, we need to be able to put in place policies and, and, and structures that would stop the outflow of those resources. But even more importantly, we need to ensure that the resources that have been taken out of the continent, we are able to trace it and get it back uh, to support Africa's, Africa's development. And there in, in, my own, uh, in my own sense lies one of the biggest challenges. I think that the work that the, the panel did was exemplary, but the follow-up follow has been... Um, not as good in my, own, in my own sense. I think that both at the regional level and, and, uh, and, and at, the, at, at, the, at, at the national level, the effort to be able to systematically monitor what uh, are we actually doing in terms of implementing. And as you know, uh, the work of the panel went just beyond recommendations. There was a, a adoption by the African heads of state and governments and committing to implement those recommendations. Other speakers include Femi Falana, SAN, who spoke on the topic dealing with corruption and illicit financial flows, facilitators and enablers. Oliver Stork, UNODC country representative to Nigeria, spoke on agenda for the international community and Ms. Lilia Ikeanyaun's head, Tuga, on enhancing cooperation for international asset recovery and asset return, amongst others. They say every day is for the thief, one day for the owner of the house. But ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission, has reversed the role. It is now every day for the owner of the house. If you're involved in bribery, over-invoicing, or any shady deal, the day of reckoning has come. ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission, is watching you. If you're reported for any corrupt practice, you'll be investigated, prosecuted, and punished. Corruption is harmful to our nation. Join the campaign against it by reporting any corrupt practice to ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. Make we join hand with ICPC, make them better. Break the chain of corruption now. Don't give, don't take. This message is brought to you by ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. Welcome to the 20th anniversary segment of the program. Submission of entries for the ICPC music competition in commemoration of its 20th anniversary ended on the 19th and the judges have begun to review the entries. At close of submission, we received 895 exciting entries. We must give it up to Nigerians for their amazing creativity. The top 10 are up on the website, 20thanniversary.icpc.gov.ng. Follow your favorite artist and vote for your winning choice. Remember, 
to join us on NTA for Corruption Must Go every Wednesday by 3.30 p.m. for updates and latest developments on the completion. Event, Professor Shola Akiria de Provost, Anti Corruption Academy of Nigeria, Akam, presented a short outcome statement and final recommendations. Other activities lined up to mark the Commission's 20th anniversary include a youth focused music competition, a competition for members of ICPC anti corruption clubs in schools across the country, and integrity awards to outstanding federal government workers. On this note, ICPC congratulates all Nigeria for being part of the fight against corruption in the last 20 years. That's our package for this week. You can also watch the program on our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash ICPC Nigeria. Thank you for watching. Continue to stay safe.